What's up, nerds? It's me, Squatting Dog, and I've got a video for you. A tips and tricks on how to make earnings in Fortnite. Are you a 14-year-old and you're still not a millionaire playing Fortnite? Wait a minute. Well, I've got a seven tips video for you. Let's dive in and look at how you can be a professional earnings Fortnite player. This video will help you make enough money to help your mom pay for that meatloaf. Let's dive in. Okay, so there you are. You just purchased your first star wand after watching your favorite Fortnite competitive player realizing that the star wand isn't the thing that gets you earnings. Mm. So in order to understand how the star wand gains its power, you have to realize a little bit of history in Fortnite. Fortnite used to give out free earnings. This was this bug inside of the game where if you were wearing the all white or all black superhero outfit, you could get free earnings, which is crazy. However, Fortnite patched it and redistributed distributed its power across multiple items in the game. There's a few things that you're gonna need in your arsenal in order to make earnings. Before you go into settings, before you adjust anything, make sure you have these cosmetics in your locker. If you don't, you will not be able to get earnings. No back bling, no personality in your outfit choice, and take the L and of course, laugh it up. If those are not in your arsenal, you will be struggling to find earnings in your pocket, in your bank account to brag in front of all of your friends. Now, if you're curious to yourself of like how fast we're talking in order to emote right after you eliminate somebody i'll show you a clip right now for our next tip has to do everything with your settings we are looking for graphic quality i move my camera so you can see it graphic quality right here what you're going to want to do is scroll down and you're going to go over this quality presets tab and you're going to go over here to the right and click N64. You want to have Nintendo 64 graphics in order to get the settings you are looking for. The worse your graphics are, the better your earnings will be. Why do you think they put blinders on horses? It's to focus in on what matters. And the only thing that matters in Fortnite is earnings. We all know this is true. You really don't have much value in Fortnite at all if you aren't making earnings, right? Make sure you put these blinders on. You have the N64 settings on. I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like in game. Remember, the less you can see, the better. It's way easier to shoot one pixel than a thousand pixels. As you can see here, we have our gameplay on max settings, which is kind of the worst thing you could ever do in the history of Fortnite Arena. You got to make sure your frames are at least at a thousand. But here we have a, you know, barely 12 frames, but it looks incredible you know looks really beautiful but that is not what we're looking for beauty is not the key when it comes to fortnite competitive so i'll show you an example of what it looks like to change this as we switch over you'll see a massive graphic design change of course we are running on about a million frames per second now but the gameplay you can barely make out what it looks like or what is happening this is crucial in arena and if you don't have these settings locked in at n64 settings you will not get earnings all right let's move on to our next tip another thing i wanted to demonstrate for all of you is a tip that i don't see a lot of people doing in fortnite competitive at all learning how to be patient simply finding a box and just sitting in the box the entire game but it's really really hard to pull off because it takes one vital ingredient and that is patience mats are is super crucial in arena as a lot of you already know but it's how you use those mats that's crucial. You might think to yourself, isn't it a little early to build in a one by one? No, the game acknowledges that, right? Like it gives me a zone really close to me. Obviously you can build with stronger materials. This is an, a really powerful strat just to farm points in arena. The more arena points you have, the more earnings you'll get. If you see people with like massive amount of earnings like me, millions upon millions of dollars every day. And so make sure you build yourself in a one by one with something real nice around a place where there's nobody there. The more you know. All right, for this next tip, what I need you to do is maybe land in creative in a place where you can kind of look at some of your edits. Uh, Pre-editing is a huge thing in Fortnite competitive and something that will set you apart from the rest. What you really want to do is you want to make sure you edit your builds like so. 
so that when you're playing in the game, you can easily put up builds that are already pre-edited. Editing in Fortnite is really huge. And so being able to capitalize on a pre-edit build is gonna be crucial for you to get more earnings. Some classics that I would recommend is going for this stair. This provides a lot of optimal cover from all angles and allows you to build up for height a lot quicker than your enemy. When it comes to cones, you're gonna be wanting to do this. It's called a Dorito edit. The reason why you're gonna pick this one is because it is simply the fastest way to put up builds as quick as possible. And if you're looking for cover, this is gonna be for you. To seal the deal, a lot of floors uh, will be edited quite a bit. You'll see a lot of people edit into floors. So what I recommend is already make that edit. So just go ahead and do a diagonal edit and that will give you cover if you're getting shot at and you'll be able to go down onto your enemies. With this combined, you are gonna get some absolutely amazing builds and edits that will hopefully not only confuse your enemy, but give you optimal cover and allow you to go further in each and every match. Now let's see what this looks like in game. Right? You can use the cone technique here. To grab them. Cone. Use the stairs technique, like we were saying earlier. He's not expecting where we are right now at all. This is huge. He's gonna not know how to react here. There we go. And just like that, guys, make sure you get that emote off as quick as possible. This is gonna get you mad earnings. For the next tip, we are talking about Storm Surge. No, it is not a G Fuel flavor, although it would be delicious. This tip is to fight people in Storm as much as possible. If you're out of Storm and you see somebody in Storm, push that person and take as much Storm Surge as possible to recharge your ability so you won't have to pay for it later. Storm Surge is a term that a lot of Fortnite competitive players use. Essentially what it is, is it's getting eliminations in the storm. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you have an adequate amount of heals, fish, cabbage, whatever it may be. I would hate for you to lose a game because you just prioritize running from the storm the entire game. So what I would say and what I would advocate for if you want like ridiculous earnings is to just dive into the storm, fight people in the storm strategically. You might notice that this circle this is where the storm will be going. I am going to just run around in this big open area where the storm is coming and try to find players to fight. Ooh. So this guy here just shot me. He knows the storm is coming. He wants to get some storm surge with me, which is awesome. Unfortunately, the storm wasn't here quick enough for us to get some actual storm surge points. I did take him out, so I guess that's okay. I hear somebody over here. I'm not gonna take this fight. I'm gonna wait till the storm comes and then I will fight them. That way I can gather as much storm surge as humanly possible in this scenario. Okay, after waiting for about two or three minutes now, the storm is finally here. So we enter into the storm here. It doesn't look like this other player wants to surge with me. So we're gonna have to wait for another opportunity. It's something that you might not know as a competitive player, a lot of the earning players know this, is when you eliminate somebody, you actually get health. There's this, this, this cool thing called Siphon, and Siphon will, uh, will give you health when you fight somebody in the storm. So don't forget about using Siphon to your advantage. Fortunately, it seems like everyone in this game is playing way too safe. I don't understand why. Not sure what's going on here. So here's a guy that I could obviously beam right now for headshots, but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna wait for the storm to come. Okay, so here I am really close to the storm. At any moment now, I should be getting shot by this guy. He'll eventually get the clue that we're like, okay, it's time to go fight in the storm and get our storm surge going. It's like he ran away for some reason. I'm not sure why, that's such a weird strategy when he could have gotten some free storm surge. Okay, so this guy is now coming down here to take some storm damage with me. This is really exciting. Now we're both in this storm. This is awesome. So I can, I can heal here. Great, so now that's a great example right there of what you should do. Fight in storm as much as you can to get the adequate amount of storm surge. This guy will obviously get a victory royale because of that decision. Let's watch.
What separates a casual player from a player with earnings is pinging. So if you're playing competitive with more than one person, pinging different things like where items are, where minis are, where enemies are, all of these things are gonna be crucial to where you drop, what you do, and all of those things. So already my teammates have pinged this area. I'm going to ping where that person is to let them know that I'm going to that exact area. I'm going to make sure my teammates know everything about what's happening. There's an enemy near me like this. I'm going to ping that player. When I eliminate somebody, I'm gonna ping them so they know where I eliminated them. See, without that ping, I wouldn't have known that this guy was here and I wouldn't have gotten that elimination. Here's a whole bunch of stuff. I wanna know if my, my teammate needs any of it. So I'm gonna make sure I ping all of it. Now there's enemies over here. So I'm gonna let my, my teammate know by pinging. I just got hurt over there. So I'm gonna ping that. More enemies that I was unaware of. Even though my, my teammates are dead, you might notice them still pinging me, which is really helpful. You're noticing that the pinging is, is really helpful for us to get into these fights and know what's going on. I'm going to use this ping system in order to know. See, I knew exactly where that guy was because of how incredible that ping was. It looks like there's a bunch of loot down there that I'm gonna let my teammate know because I'm pinging, right? All right, I'm gonna be uh, dropping down here. I'm gonna be moving in this direction. We got all those guys, also a lot of stuff here. So I'm gonna ping all of this stuff to let my, my teammate know. Like, I don't know if he wants this unless I, I ping it. So I'm gonna ping it for him and hopefully he'll be able to pick this stuff up if he wants it. Now you might hear about something called a zero ping player. These are players that do not need the usage of silly little pings. Zero ping players are able to play this game without pinging anything because their awareness of the game is so much better than casual players. Notice how well we're doing in this arena mode because of our ability to ping. Um, really, really crucial. So I'm gonna ping that launch pad so he knows where I'm going. I'm also gonna ping this launch pad so he knows that there's another launch pad that he can take if he wants to. They're both in the storm, looks like one, and that's how you do it, chat. Remember, over ping as much as you can, even in the end game, you need to be pinging as much as you can. Pinging and punging inside of Fortnite is gonna get you more earnings than you can ever imagine. So make sure you apply that to your next game. For this final tip, I'm gonna be 100 with you. I'm not entirely sure what this means. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of uh, these really incredible pros have been saying the term boxed like a fish. I don't entirely know how they're using this strategy. I think that's one of three that I've narrowed down to. So I'll let you decide in the comments on which one is the most efficient. The first one being box like a fish where you actually put a flopper inside of a box. Peels are such a crucial part of this game. Being able to hide them from your enemies is also really important. For the second strategy, you need to go to a broken alien ship area. You'll find these cubes. If you're wearing fish stick and you interact with these cubes, you will be boxed like a fish. My guess is some of the pros know why this is important. Like I said, leave a comment if you understand this terminology, but let's move on to the final box like a fish technique. And for this last technique, box like a fish, I used a lot of fish to lead people to my box. Actually, it's working. Yeah, so what, what they'll do is, I guess they'll just stop paying attention to the game and try to grab as many fish as possible. When they go in, you then box them up just like this. And then you have access to eliminating them just like that. So like I said before, I'm not sure which of the three the competitive scene is using right now. Leave a comment in this video if you have insight to what it could be. Also, bonus tip, if you don't have a golden or purple spaz by the end of second circle, it's not even worth playing. It's bad for your mental health. Thank me later.
thank you so much for watching today's video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you don't understand sarcasm give it a thumbs down and leave a comment below on what box like a fish means if you want to check out my content go to twitch.tv slash squatting dog i am live almost every day would love to have you come on by and that's it for today's video have a great rest of your afternoon evening night whatever it is for you see ya